nine layer squid. We call it jiu chen gao in Chinese. And uh, it is a Peranakan dish, which we Singaporeans like to eat for breakfast or sometimes after a meal. Ingredients, pandan leaves, water, sugar, salt, tapioca flour, rice flour, and coconut juice. If I'm not mistaken, it has been around for at least three generations to my generation. My great-grandmother used to sell this uh, kueh. She, she does this for business. And my mother didn't like any of them. It doesn't suit her taste buds. So when it came to, down to her, she managed to find ways to tweak this traditional dish to modernize it. And therefore, it's been passed down many generations. I haven't, I've never seen my great-grandmother before. So it's quite amazing that I tasted a dish that she actually sold. Boil the sugar and pandan leaves with water and add a pinch of salt. After which, wait for it to first cool down. So I'll be pouring the tapioca flour and after which I will pour another 80 grams of rice flour. Add the pandan leaf and sugar mixture to the tapioca flour and the rice flour. After that, mix the mixture well until smooth. Sieve the coconut juice. Add the sieved coconut juice into the flour. Most of the special tips or formulas are done by my mother. She mentioned that there needs to, needs to be a lot of sieving as well for the flour and the, and the coconut. So, but I heard from her that she's mentioned before it is through this uh, carefully crafted and through love. Mix this entire mixture well until it's smooth and silky. Measure out five equal bowls of the mixture. and mix in the five different colours. Grease the tray with oil that has been cooked with pandan leaves so that the kueh will not stick onto the tray when it is done. Be mindful not to drip the water vapour into the tray when removing the wok cover. Steam each coloured layer for about 4 minutes. Traditionally, we start off with the white layer and end off with the brightest colour. Repeat this process until all the mixtures are finished. Stir the colour mixtures before pouring them to the tray. We normally make this dish uh, during special occasions because this is a dish that requires a lot of time. Once the entire process is done, remove the tray from the steamer, set aside to cool. Once it has cooled down, remove the kueh from the tray. After which, cut and divide the kueh into serving portions. and it is ready to be served. She felt like um, if this one can be in this whole project, the My Singapore Food, it can be passed down because it's recorded in hard copy. And perhaps in the future generation, you never know that they will be able to modernize it some more and this dish will never ever go out of fashion. So you do the dishes. Mm -hmm.